Hello everybody, my name is Brucify. Before we start, I have a couple quick little announcements to make. Now if you don't want to hear these announcements, you can skip it by just clicking this annotation right here. Anyway, um, first of all, you might have noticed that my new retro arcade video was removed. Yeah, you know what that means. When a YouTube video is removed, it's because a content creator requested requested it to remove Jesus Christ. And uh, yeah, YouTube gives you a strike for that. So now I have one strike on me. But the only thing the first strike does is it might take away your ability to stream on YouTube, which I don't do anyway, so it's not really a big idea. But I did go to my new retro arcade, both 4.0 and Neon, and I changed the music from the ACDC Back in Black to uh, a Paper Mario medley. I uh, I checked my Paper Mario Let's Play to make sure that I didn't get any copyright warnings on those. And surprisingly, I don't have any copyright warnings on those. Weird though, that because I have copyright warnings on my Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga playthrough, I, I seriously don't know. Um, but yeah, anyway, the next thing next thing I, want, I just want to say real quickly is that I want to spend more time editing my videos because one of my friends suggested over me, he's like, hey, I'm, I'm just like skipping through your videos, you know, the, from past the boring stuff. So to, to straight to the action, you know, to the games, to the exciting parts. So yeah, that's one thing I would definitely want to start doing is taking more time. Steve was right. I got to start spending more time editing these videos because people are going to skip over the boring stuff and and just not like what they're seeing. And that definitely redu that definitely ruins retention time. Anyway, so now that that's done, let's get on with the fucking disc. Jesus fucking Christ, I can't talk. You're gonna notice a lot. You're gonna notice a lot. I hope you like jump cuts, because you're gonna see a lot of them during that in. Oh shit, new intro. Oh wait, this is a cigarette commercial. Whoa. Jesus fucking Christ. Same video. Holy shit. That number has probably gone up since. I hate it when people ask me for cigarettes because it's like, you know, you know how bad it is for you. You know it's bad for your health. You know it's going to cause problems later in your life, you know, as long as you keep smoking. And it's like a bunch of people ask me for cigarettes. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with this world? Now, yeah, I know, it's like your cho choice, like, don't tell me if I can't smoke cigarettes, but what is it doing for you? <sighs> well, welcome to Demo Discs, where things are much deeper than the sea. And you know, this bullshit, and let's start fucking playing some games. Alright, first game, Star Wars Jedi Power Battles. Let's start the game. Alright. Whoa, shit. <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson, you look, uh... Everyone else looks okay, but you look like... What the fuck did they do to your face, man? What the fuck? Look at them! The face of someone who's seen True Fair. Also, I don't know what the hell's up with Obi-Wan Kenobi over here. He looks like he's a pedophile and he's seeing a little boy. Ugh. Anyway, let's start. Old PS1 loading screens. Don't change. Federation battles, fight your way. Okay, okay, I'll get it. 
Oh shit. Oh fuck. Look at this. Circles jump. X does a slash down. And squares. Yeah. Oh nice. Can I run? Oh, that's block. Okay, R2's run. L2 does nothing. And the music just decides to randomly cut out. Oh, yeah, by the way, you're, you're not gonna hear it. Because I know the fucking Star Wars. Fuck. Face the other way, asshole! I know the Star Wars theme is, in fact, copyright. Okay, let's see. What does this do? Okay, that, okay, that's health. <laughs> what fucking oh, Obi Wan Kenobi? G Yoda before you started? <laughs> Overall, pretty basic swords fight game. You know, it's like one of those uh, 3D fighting games. You know. Okay, for first we're gonna go back. You know. It's like one of those, you know, you know those 2D fighting games you play in the arcade, right? And then you know how they brought a lot of those PlayStation 1 and made them 3D. It's like one of those 3D fighting games, but, well, with lightsabers. Can I go this way? Oh, it's this way. Yeah, it is. Now, like I said, you're not going to hear the music, but it did literally just randomly cut out. Kill these fucking droids flying the ship, because that's a good idea. It's kind of boring with no music. It's a speed run through the demo. Oh, 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 oh. oh you can like do a running charge with your lightsaber. That's actually kind of cool. <laughs> fucking a guy killed his own teammate. Oh shit. Nice. Okay, so... What do I do? Okay, up here, up here. No? What do I do? Oh, on the platform. Dead. Oh, and the music decided to randomly come back. Holy shit, fucking Jedi's can move fast. Well, they're Jedi's. Oh, and I'm dead. Alright, come on, come on. That Fuck! Come on! Up there. Alright, run. There they are. Get them. Ah, uh, you mean there he is. Get him. What the fuck? Oh, that's it. That was pretty good. Seven out of ten. That was pretty good. I'm. It feels like a mediocre, you know, fighting game, like I mentioned, with just with lightsabers. But overall, it's pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, it, it's Star Wars. It has power ups and whatnot. And I'm pretty sure my game just froze. Oh, never mind. Oh, no! No! Alright, next game. Destruction Derby Raw. Oh, no. Is this that Twisted Metal ripoff that's really crappy? With, like, wrestling involved into it? No. I heard about this. It's, it's bad. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Okay, so battle, options, wrecking racing... No music, but we, and we can't smash for dollars. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna admit, that's actually a pretty cool menu select. Look at this. It crushes the license plate. Arena, classic, okay. Wait. Wait, 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 what? Were they so cheap? Are you serious? Eh, ah, voice crap. 
Are you fucking serious, though? Were they seriously? I can't select anything because it's, it's on player two. But they were so cheap, they couldn't even program an AI to fight. This is... This is one of the first demos we played that has that. If you recall, there was another demo we played that had the same problem. Honestly, don't include multiplayer for your demos. We'll have it, but have it as an option. Oh, I don't believe this. Alright, next game. Walt Disney World Racing Tour. Welcome to Walt Disney World. Oh. Oh my god. I mean, it looks decent. I did enjoy the uh, Mickey Mouse games, if you recall from my Genesis Month videos. I believe that there was a Chippendale cartoon. I've just never seen it. Oh, it's a racing game. Let me guess, a Mario Kart ripoff. Yep! Right on the fucking dot! Well, at least it controls really well, actually. Extremely well. It doesn't have any of the, uh, you know, the drag and whatnot from, you know, the real Mario Kart games. As opposed to this one, which is a fake Mario Kart game. Oh, whoa. Did I seriously just... I transformed into a frog. I transformed into a frog. Okay. Yeah, this would be really easy for kids to play because the controls are so spot on. All right, let's. Oh fucking hell! Shit! I don't know. It is kind. It is kind of boring because the. Like I said, the controls are super easy. Three laps? Oh my god, I don't even think I'm gonna be able to withstand three laps. I don't know, it just feels kind of boring. Like I said, that's probably because the controls are easy. Really, everyone got transformed to frogs. Holy shit. That's a little extreme, don't you think? No, they didn't. This is just a straight off fucking rip off of the shell. You know, you know the shell I'm talking about, right? This shell. Damn. What do the coins do? I don't know. Probably some rip off of the coins from Mario Kart. Really? You piece. This is so annoying. Well, despite being an easy to play. Shut the fuck up. Anyway, despite being an easy racer, like I said, I only managed to get in third place. I don't know, the, but freaking look at that. Three seconds ahead of me. They must have been picking up turbo boosts all the way or something. Anyway, that's it. Six out of ten. Next game. Tenchu 2. I think we saw this in one of the previous discs. In fact, I think I'm pretty sure it was the disc before this one. Tenchu 2. It's Birth of Stealth Assassins. It is the age of the warring states. The okay. old Shogun has fallen, and samurai warlords fight savage battles for the right to hoist their flags over the great castles of Japan. Okay. But far from the battlefield, unseen and unheard, a different breed of warriors ply their deadly trade. Born okay. in shadow, they okay. will die as shadows. Mm -hmm. They are the ninja. Okay. I hope you were writing all that down. Masterpiece story. Hmm. Enough. Of... Your time is at hand. What's the fuck? What's that game? Dynasty Warriors. Okay. No, don't be Sonic 06. 
You know how Sonic 06 needs to load fucking everything? Okay, give me all the stars. Well, this we don't have much, so give me... Give me everything. And I think that's all... I think that's all we have. Alright. Oh, nice. Okay, is... Alright. Um... Oh fuck. Oh shit. So this game demands stealth from you, I guess. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Oh my The atmosphere is nice because well there's no music. Oh, come on. Fucking... The enemy! Yeah, the enemy! I'm right fucking here! Jeez. The enemy! Are you... Are you... The enemy. You're joking. I don't know. It has a Metal Gear Solid feel to it. Not really. Metal Gear Solid was a cinematic game. This is a not that more action oriented, third person. You know. Oh my god. Again, I feel like this is kind of boring. It's probably a really fun game, but honestly, it does make me wish I was playing Metal Gear. So holy shit. Nice stealth, bruh. Also, it doesn't help that the, uh, you know, the render distance is small. You can't see anything, and that's, re that's really not good for a stealth game. Because you need to be able to see across to where everyone is. I don't know. I'm really getting mixed feelings about this one. Maybe it's just not the type of game I like. Oh, yeah, I'm done. Fuck that. Look at all those amazing features. No! No! You have to be joking! No! This is a really shitty game! Why did they include this on the demo discs? Oh, you won't notice this. But I've actually been sitting here for two minutes, waiting for this thing to load. Does this game not work? Hmm. It doesn't work. Oh no, it does. Fuck. <sighs> Teletubbies. I never really watched the show when I was younger. I was more of a Cyber Chase and Blue's Clues guy. In the comments below, I wrote what your show was when you were growing up. But I do remember that logo. I do remember it. <sighs> this is not going to be good. At all. Fucking dolo. Look at this. It looks... Horrifying. The title screen is orange. Not that interesting. There's, it's not animated. It's just a straight up image from the show. If you weren't paying attention, you would mistake this for the loading screen. Look at this. This is going to be bad. Oh, it's bad. Shut the fuck up! Their fucking ears look like fucking realistic ears. The way they're just the way they're designed and the way it looks in the game. Is the Teletubbies theme copyrighted? Only one way to find out. So okay, okay, that was the intro. 
Ooh. Oh. Oh no. I remember. I know this game because PBG talked about it in his. Okay. None of the buttons do anything besides make farting noises. What is this game? I swear to God, the creators of this were on acid. Look at this. Everything's changing color. You can't interact with. No. Shut the fuck up. Best button ever. I can't even. What do I do? No, I'm serious. What do I do? I've just been walking around. Buttons don't do jack shit. Wait, it says press any of the buttons to interact, but it's not fucking working. Is the game broken? Well, I wouldn't doubt that for a second. Look at this. It all looks exactly the same. This isn't fun. This is shit. Like, seriously, don't buy your kids this game. Get them, like, something like Spyro or Crash Bandicoot, something cool. Not this. Or if they even if they can't play, at least show them. Ooh. Everything looks exactly the same. The only question is now, why the fuck am I still playing this? Zero out of ten. This is awful. Designed for two to four year olds. I'm pretty sure a four year old would be smart enough to know that this game sucks. 11 fun and exciting activities. 11 live action video sequences. So, does that mean the exciting a the activities are like they have cutscenes? No. Favorite features include the Sun Baby and Nunu. Man, who the fuck is Nunu? Nursery rhymes and unique musical events? Fuck this game. Alright, next game. Dave Mir Mira Freestyle BMX. Oh shit, it's just a video. Wait, 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 wait. Was this before... Because I don't think Matt Hoffman Pro BMX was out yet. Because we have not encountered it. It's probably coming up, but... Yeah. Was this what inspired Matt Hoffman Pro BMX? Well, this and the Tony Hawk Pro Skater. It could very well be possible. in school. Hmm. Hmm. That actually seems cool. It seems like a really good game. It's well, considering that Matt Hoffman Pro BMX hasn't been made yet. Yeah. If I was growing up back then, I would probably would have bought it. And the next game is Body Bags. Sounds like a SWAT game. I'm just fucking with you. I know it's the tobacco ad we saw earlier. And that's it. it. This is actually really short. I'm surprised. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, please give it a like. If you dislike it, then fuck you, mother... <laughs> well, if you like the video, give it a like. If you dislike it, dislike it. If you have any suggestions, please put them in the comments below. Also, follow me on Twitter. Like my Facebook page if you want updates. And 
yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Wait, what the f Do you ever feel like a firefly failing to download the demos? Do you ever feel like a piece of shit not knowing when to know to check the folders? Do you ever feel where the fuck the folders?